Hey everybody, so today's video is going to be a Q&A and I'm going to be taking questions from my YouTube channel along with my Facebook page and I did get um, a lot of in-depth questions. Some of them may even need like a video on their own. So I'm going to try to keep this kind of short and not make it an extremely long video. Um, I did do a Q&A a few months back. I uh, will go ahead and post it below in the description since I do have quite a few new subscribers and some of the questions that I got are in that Q&A but I might go ahead and go over some of the really frequently asked ones. So I'll go ahead and get started with the questions I got on my Facebook page. So the first few questions are from Trent on Facebook and they asked what got you into rats and I can't really remember like the exact moment where I was sitting there and was like I'm gonna get rats again but um, I did have rats when I was younger and um, when we moved into this house we kind of wanted a little critter to keep with us and uh, rats just have kind of a little bit better personalities when it comes to small animals and they're a little more active so we decided that we wanted to get rats and the next question from Trent is how do I keep the cage so clean and it is kind of a long process um, the cage cleaning takes me an hour to an hour and a half um, every week and uh, I just like keeping the cage clean I mean it's not clean all the time especially towards the end of the week but um, I mean for the most part I like keeping a clean cage for my animals and the last question from Trent is how do we pick their names and a lot of the times I will just keep the name that the rat came with unless I particularly didn't like it but um, when we pick our own names it's usually kind of a name that's associated with like a country like we really like Scottish names and we really like Russian names so a lot of times we'll just go with something like that and the next few questions are from Nat Pet House on Facebook and they asked uh, do you enjoy having a theme for your cage and I do I really like having a theme it kind of you know gets you a little more motivated to keep the cage nice and clean um, if so which holiday or theme do you like the most and why I generally love Halloween Halloween is my favorite holiday but this past spring I really liked doing their cage in like pastel pinks and yellows and um, colors that I don't normally use but I really enjoyed it so I guess um, after doing that, I really like doing like the spring cages and Easter and stuff like that. The next comment and question and concern is from Amanda Van Easton from Facebook and she's basically just saying that she's really bummed because she doesn't really have a lot of room to free range with her rats and she feels as if she's not keeping them happy or giving them enough exercise. So I will probably be doing like an in-depth video on this and what a lot of people can do if they don't have a room like I do to just let their rats free range or if they're not comfortable letting them out in their room you can free range with them in the bathroom or even just the bathtub and just kinda let them crawl all over you as long as they're getting out and like getting stimulation a few times a week um, they should be okay especially if they have a big enough cage if the cage is really small then you're really gonna have to free range with them more or invest in getting a bigger cage. And next up is Stormy Dawn and she asked who is my oldest rat and who is the oldest rat that I've ever had and Sookie was the oldest rat that I ever had she was two and a few months and then the oldest rat that I have right now is Ingrid and she is about a year and a half. The last one from Facebook is Isla Godshall and she basically just has more of advice than a question but um, it seems that her rats chew on everything including the fleece and the Critter Nation plastic pans. Um, once you have a fleece or a plastic chewer it's really hard to break them of the habit. Um, it's really annoying I know and pretty much you just kind of have to live with it. If you can find um, some plastic toys that you know they're not going to ingest but they like chewing on the plastic then maybe that could help but um, maybe changing the fleece to a uh, paper pellet bedding or something like that may also help since it's a little deeper and they can't really get to the pans but the pans for the Critter Nation cage are replaceable um, you can go on the website and just order just the pans okay and moving on to the YouTube questions I'm going to be answering Hamsters All Stars 47's questions because a lot of their questions 
were repeats that a lot of other people asked. The first question is, what species of rat is your favorite? And I kind of went over this in my different types of rats. There's not real like separations of rat breeds or anything like that. But when it comes to you know, my rats, I kind of prefer the top eared now. I know I have all Dumbos, but I like the top ears because I feel like they really look like a rat. And um, I don't know, I just think it's cute after having a bunch of Dumbos. And of course, I love the little Rex fur like Uno here. That fur is super cute and it's super soft. Um, the other question is, how many rats have I had all together? Um, I think it's at 14 now of all together of everyone who's passed away and whatnot, including ones that I had when I was really small. But uh, the next question is, what rat cage do I love the most? And I would have to say it's the Critter Nation, the one that I have. And what editor do I use for my videos? I just use iMovie, whatever came with my MacBook. It seems to work and it's pretty user friendly. Uh, another question is, do I have any other pets other than my rats? And I do. I have three cats and one dog. And then the last question is, what are your rats' names? And my rats' names that I have now are, there's Ingrid right there, and then Iona's there, and there is Uno. Next question is from Fuzzy Butts 11 and they're asking, do I plan on getting more pet rats, and do I think it's a good idea to get a pet rat in need of a home off of Craigslist? I am kind of back and forth about getting more rats, especially since Samila and Mishka passed away. I still don't really know what I'm going to be doing. Um, and then, do I think it's a good idea to get a rat off of Craigslist? It really depends on the situation. I've gotten one rat off of Craigslist, and I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot of sketchy people on there. There's a lot of people that are just feeder breeders trying to get rid of their overstock um, that are on Craigslist. So I think if you're screening the person really well, and don't ever give them money. If someone's asking you for money for a rat, then tell them no, because... It's not worth it, and that's all they're in it for is money. So unless they're giving you supplies and food and cage and all of that, I wouldn't give anybody any money for a rat, especially from Craigslist. And next up is Maggie Carlis, and she asked, where do I purchase my rats? And I've gotten mine from a few different places. I have tried breeders, and I have also just adopted rats in need. I have also, like I said before, gone on Craigslist or just gone to somebody that had an accidental litter from the rescue. My rats have come from all different places. And Rev Power wants to know if mice eat the same food as rats. And I'm not really up on the whole mice thing. I do think they're super cute. And especially now with all the fun colors and their ears are super big. Um, they are really cute. I don't really know like a ton about them. The diet is generally the same. But if you want more information, I'm sure you could head over to Stacy's Pet Mice YouTube channel. She has tons of videos on her mice, and they're all super cute. And Balina J wants to know my thoughts on neutering male rats. Is it worth the money and possible complications related to the surgery? Well, some of you may know that Uno is neutered. I didn't get him neutered, but... Um, the reason he got neutered was because one of his testicles didn't drop all the way, so he had to get neutered, hence the name Uno. But um, I've always wanted a neutered rat um, to put in my girl's colony. Um, I had thought about doing it on my own. Uh, there are going to be complications with any kind of surgery, um, so it really depends on how bad you want a male rat in with your females, or if the rat is really really aggressive but you still want to keep them and you know make sure that they have a good home and a good life especially if they're not able to live with other rats so th then the money would definitely be worth it depending on where you live it can be pretty pricey it can range from fifty dollars and in my area it's almost three hundred and fifty dollars to get a rat neutered however if you would pick between a male and a female it's definitely better to have a female spade because her chances of getting tumors lessens greatly and furry little feet wants to know how she can convince her parents into getting rats i've got a lot of video requests to do something like this so maybe i'll go ahead and do one um i will have to do a little bit of research but um furry little feet i will definitely try to get a video out for you and Max Primo wants to know what kind of cage that they can get for $120 or 
or less? And are they able to have a boy and girl together or two boys? Okay, if you want to get like a really good rat cage for under $120, I would try going to Martin's com or martinscages.com I can't remember I'll go ahead and post it below in the description but they have really nice cages for around $90 that you can get for rats um, don't ever put a male and female together if they're not fixed um, it doesn't matter if they're siblings or mother daughter father whatever if and if they're related they're still going to mate so I would definitely get two boys if you don't have a spayed or neutered female or male and London Tomaseo wants to know if I can do a video on cutting my rat's nails. And I don't actually don't cut my rat's nails. Um, I did cut Amber's back feet because she couldn't ever really move them and her nails would get really long. Um, but other than that, I just kind of let them do their thing. They have their lava ledge in there and they run around a lot. So if you put some stuff in the cage that will help file the nails down, it can help out a lot. Some of them just have long nails, like Mila always had long nails. She was always scratching me, but um, it really just depends on the rat. But I might be able to try to do something because I have little baby nail clippers that I used on Urchin and Amber. And the Binky Bun Bun wants to know if I could get another pet, what would it be? And I don't know, I kind of really liked having Tater Tot the hamster, so maybe I'd get another hamster or a bunny rabbit. I really like the Flemish Giants. They're really cool, so maybe I would get one of those. Beagles and Rats says that they have two females and both like to sniff her, or him, I'm sorry, and one loves to play with them. Um, but they don't really like to be pet or touch. Um, do I have any advice? And that they love my videos. Well, thanks for watching, and I do have a trust training video in the works. It's kind of taken a long time because it's a lot of filming on different days and stuff like that. And it's kind of hard to just put a trust training video up and just say this is how it works when it really depends on the rat. Some rats don't really like to interact or they'll just come up and let you pet them on the head and that's it. But um, I do have a video that's coming. I just don't know how long it's going to take for me to edit it and put it up and everything. And Lappy Hooka commented on my dog and how I got them to interact with my dog. And basically, I have a Borzoi. And if you're not familiar with the breed, it's a highly prey-driven breed. And it's definitely not the norm to have him so calm around the rats. He has been with them since he was a puppy. But, um, you know, I still want to make sure that nothing's going to happen. So I'm always there when he's near them. And he's never in the room when they free range just in case something kicks in. Um, but when I feed them, he'll stick his head in the cage and, you know, he's fine. The rats will you know, normally just sniff it around. Or May May used to love going in his mouth and trying to clean his teeth. So I'm not really sure and don't have much advice on how to get your dog to interact with your rats because it kind of just depends on the dog, but I would definitely make sure that you don't ever leave them unsupervised. They also asked, now that I have Uno, have I noticed him being more of a couch potato compared to the girls? And actually I haven't. I feel like he has the same amount of energy, well except for Ingrid because she's crazy, but I feel like he has the same amount of energy as Iona and Mila and Mishka before they passed away. You know, if he's snoozing and sees me come up to the cage, he immediately gets up out of the hammock and comes to greet me. Um, so I don't know if it's because of his age or if it's just how he is, but I haven't really noticed much difference in their activity level. And Megan Manthe asked, can I make a video setting up my cage? And I'm not really sure what you mean, if it's just by like how I put the hammocks in there and everything. Um, maybe I can do that, but I do have a video on how I clean the cage and me putting everything back in it. So I'll go ahead and link that below in the description. Hamster Savvy 46 asked, do I know of any homemade rat cages to save money? Thanks. Okay, when it comes to rat cages, you're really not going to be saving any kind of money when you make a homemade cage. It's kind of not like a rabbit or a guinea pig or even a hamster where you can get like an Ikea hack. But you can go onto Pinterest and just type in rat cages and you'll see a ton of homemade rat cages. However, the ones that people put online or even on blogs cost just as much as a real cage when you get all the materials and the time to put it together. So I would just suggest saving up your money and getting like a really nice Martin's cage or even just 
one single critter nation because it'll definitely be worth it and you don't want your rat chewing through like a wooden shelf or something like that. And Caitlin the Ninja asks, which do I prefer better, the Emerson or gradual trust training and why? I kind of, I don't know, because I feel as if it really depends on the rat. Sometimes gradual trust training really, really works, and then sometimes kind of force thing them works just as well. So you kind of have to maybe try both and see which one works out. And then they also asked, um, what do they do if your rats will only do tricks for unhealthy treats? A lot of times what you can do is cut the treat up really, really tiny and just give them like a little nibble of the treat and, um, you know, still let them do their activity or their training. Um, as long as you're not giving them a ton of junk, then it should be okay. Or maybe even just try to find like people don't realize that beans make really good treats. Um, I have some here in the spaghetti squash with the rats and even like a piece of corn. I mean, it's a vegetable and it's something that they would go in their normal diet anyways and they love it. Maggie Carlos and Kitty Cat asked me what other rat YouTube channels that I like and I did mention this in one of my other videos. There are some rat YouTube channels that are no longer active but um, there are a few out there like the Crazy Rat Lady has one along with Pixel Pets TV. She just started one and um, there are a few others. I'll go ahead and try to list them the, below in the description. Uh, Peachy Pet Paradise has a rat and a hamster channel, but um, the rat channels are kind of sparse compared to like guinea pig and hamster channels. Oliver Bond says that one of her female rats weighs 300 grams and she is about eight months old. Is she underweight? Actually, 300 grams is okay. You don't want her to get below 250 grams. Um, eight months old, pretty much she's full grown. She might not grow anymore. But if you see Ingrid here, she is just a petite rat. She's always been small and she doesn't, she weighs about 320 grams, but um, you know, and she's fine. So as long as she doesn't get below 250 grams, you should be okay. Jonah Carlson asks, can rats and mice live together? And absolutely no. They are two totally different species of animals and they are not able to live together. Max Promo asked if he can put a spayed female and a neutered male together in a critter nation. And yes, you can. Since they are both sterilized, they are not able to mate or produce any babies. And Trent J asked if I could describe how I make my videos, like what camera I use, the editor, and how I do my lighting. So as I said before, the video editor that I use is just my iMovie. Um, I can't remember if it's iMovie 08 or iMovie 11, I'm not sure. But it's super simple, user friendly, and easy. I'm not really one to put like tons of graphics on and everything because I'm not that good at it. But um, so iMovie is really simple for beginners and I'll probably just keep be using that one. The camera that I'm using right now, this has changed so many times, but the one I have right now is the Nikon Coolpix P60, um, and then sometimes I do use my iPhone, um, and the lighting is just kind of natural lighting, or I do have um, three lights in the ceiling in my sunroom. Okay, well that's it for this q and I know I still have a lot of questions to ask, so I might be doing another one, but um, I didn't want this video to be too long, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.